Okay, next up we have the invoice screen. Uh, invoices can be created automatically and manually. Uh, we went briefly over uh, how to create them um, automatically via the uh, main sheet over here by creating all invoices or creating uh, invoices on the selected appointment, invoice selected appointment here. Uh, so we did go over that. Now we'll go ahead and uh, go over the manual creation. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, click create new invoices and it's going to say we have made some changes to the current invoices. Do we want to save those changes? And for now, we'll just click no. And so we're offered a break, a blank invoice template here. And with the invoice template, we do have some customization options. Uh, we can choose to show or hide any of these uh, options here under terms or due date or the tax or GST. Uh, so by clicking or unclicking these options, we can choose to show or hide these, which is a great ability to customize this. And we even have up to the three custom fields. Uh, if you'll remember, we went over those custom fields for the contacts, so we can put those in as well, as well as the custom drop-down list. So by unselecting these, we can hide those, those options here. When we uh, want to enter some items into the invoice, we'll go ahead and select from a drop-down list. And as you notice, these are the same items that we created on the invoice uh, appointment types and invoice items screen. Uh, so we'll just select the item and automatically the description will appear along with the quantity, default at one, and amount. Uh, we can also change these uh, quantity as well as the amount uh, as we see fit. Uh, if it's taxed or not taxed, it will default based on uh, the uh, item that we've selected here. Or we can go ahead and change it. The default will be set up on the appointment types and invoice. Uh, so we can go ahead and create that invoice. We can add multiple items if we want to very quickly and very easily. And we can also uh, uh, start typing in the names as well. And also we have the ability to customize uh, the information up here as well as the assigned staff and this would be automated if uh, the invoice was created from uh, the main sheet the assigned staff uh, would automatically be entered so uh, a lot of the uh, customers do like to create invoices directly from the schedule as it allows uh, uh, a lot of automation which is a really great feature so once we're done we just simply uh, click save and update the invoice and uh, okay we do need a contact is required almost forgot that. So we'll go ahead and click a contact and you see the address uh, for that contact is automatically entered which is really helpful based on the address that we've created within the contacts sheet. So we can go ahead and save it now and the message let us know that the invoice has been saved. If we do want to look up a specific invoice all we have to do is just enter the invoice number here and the one we just created was invoice number 24 so we'll go ahead and enter that and the invoice number will automatically uh, autofill. We can also use the arrows to go to previous and next invoices as well. Uh, if we want to update this invoice for any reason, we can. We just uh, can make our changes necessary and just click the save or update and then the uh, updates have automatically been saved. Uh, we can email this invoice, so assuming that we have a contact in there correctly with an email address, it'll autofill. And this uh, email template will be based on the template that we've created in the email automation screen. So we'll go ahead and click email invoice, and what that's going to do is going to automatically create a PDF uh, invoice of that, attach that PDF invoice, and here you can see uh, the information is automatically pre-filled based on the email template that we have used. And if we click on that, we can see that the invoice uh, has been uh, created for for the uh, PDF, which is here. So we can say it's in a nice formatted PDF and quickly, easily, automatically. And so that's really helpful. Uh, we can also include details about the invoice, uh, balance, uh, invoice amount, uh, due date, lots of different things in the email uh, automation screen as well. So we'll go ahead and close that out. Uh, as well, we have the ability to print the invoice, delete invoice, or apply a payment. There are actually three ways to apply payments to an invoice, and we'll go over those three right now. The first of which 
is uh, clicking on apply payment here and that's going to take us to the invoice and payments screen and we'll go over this screen in detail in a little bit but automatically the payment amount it's assumed that it will be the invoice balance however you can feel free to change that if they have not paying it in full that is one way to to uh, do that and we'll go over the other two very shortly but since we're focused on the invoice screen and now what we can do is also we have the ability uh, to enter any details that we like, including in adding a logo. We have the ability to add a logo to our invoice, so we'll go ahead and click there, and we can browse for our logo, and it'll be replaced by this. Our logo will be replaced. You can go ahead and add in your company details. It's free to make changes to any of these details here so that your invoice can be customized to exactly how you like. Uh, at the bottom of the invoice uh, down here, you will see that uh, if there are any payments, they will be applied here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and apply a payment now, and let's just go ahead and say uh, we're going to pay 500, and we'll save that. Okay, now back to the invoice screen we go, and here we can see that the payments. Uh, have been it's 500 and we have a total due of 256 so the invoice is updated as well uh, with that and so that's a great way there's also another feature if the invoice does get uh, does get p paid in full that uh, we can then uh, automatically send the customer a copy so that's a really great and you see once it's paid in full we have it set up so that it's automated so that uh, an email gets sent to the customer when it's been paid in full. And you'll notice this email didn't appear on the original payment because it wasn't paid in full. However, this subsequent payment for $256 did actually pay that invoice in full, and therefore this invoice got created. So it's really, uh, excuse me, this email got created. So we were able to uh, create automated emails based on this invoice being paid in full. So. That is pretty much it for the invoice screen. It's very uh, simple, very straightforward, yet extremely powerful. And uh, so there's a lot of reports that can be generated. We'll go over that as well as the payments. All right, thank you.